everyone, I'm Lindsay and welcome to the Dosa Plus Show. If you guys are familiar with my blog, you know I talk about advice, motivation, wellness, and so I'm bringing some of my favorite people to you for their tips. And today I have Brielle. She has an amazing blog called The Gilded Bellini. And I'll have her explain it a little bit. Thank you Welcome, for having Brielle. me. Thank you. So The Gilded Bellini covers everything that is the brunching lifestyle. So it's not just food, but it's fashion. It's when you go to a place, the kind of crowd that's there. I cover everything because I think that brunch is not just a meal. It's an experience. It's an occasion. So while I cover lifestyle aspects, um, my main thing is going into different brunch spots and covering them, doing a kind of Food Network inspired type of episode. So I'll go in and show a real review of an experience at a specific brunch spot. So you don't have to go to Yelp and look up, you know, reviews that might not be accurate, you can go to my site, watch my video, and see how an experience at a brunch is. Mm -hmm. And her blog is amazing. So <laughs> how did you get started? Because it's like you have your own business. You have, I mean, if you watch the video quality that she has in her videos and everything, it's, it's like a whole production. So Thank where did this you. and when did this all start? So I used to live in New York, and when I was living there, the brunch scene was so big. And at the time, I was working in PR, and I kind of always knew the best places first. And when I was there, um, I was working in beauty at that point, and I was noticing that there wasn't really an outlet that covered brunch, or even that talked about, you know, the people that were going to these elaborate party brunches and things like that. So I, um, I always kind of just was like the brunch guru. So people would be like, Brielle, where should I go for, you know, bottomless mimosas, or where should I go for the best party brunch? Where's the best hole in the wall? So then I moved out here, to LA and in the beginning I didn't have a job and I had always wanted to like start a blog or some type of media outlet about brunch because that was always my thing. So I came out here and I started from scratch and did my research for like six months, developed my website and then six months later I was ready for launch. And um, I launched in March of 2016. So oh I'm my gosh, it has years, grown yeah. so much in such a quick time. Yeah. So for people watching who may want to like start their own blog, you know, you did a lot of research, which I think is key because a lot of people think that you start a blog and you just go. So what sort of things did you research for this? Basically, I researched um, the places that were currently trending, um, places that were kind of known for specific things. Also, um, just the restaurant space, the types of people that were going to those types of places, and then everything from even just business basics of like starting a website from scratch. And I was learning, I started on Squarespace and I like literally knew nothing about it. I just taught myself. So it was a lot of that too. It was a lot of industry research, market research, and then also just basic web research. And it took a while. I worked every single day for six months, I'd say, on researching and just getting everything together and putting in at least an hour a day to do it, especially because I had the time because I yeah. wasn't working. So um, it all worked out in the end. <laughs> so do you have like a blog posting schedule? Because you know a lot of people are familiar with, with YouTube because you can see more clearly if someone's posting once a week, but you can't tell all the time how many days a week someone's posting or more than one right. day a week. Um, how do you set up your schedule for that? Oh gosh, I wish I could say that there was like a specific schedule, but there's really not because so many different things will just pop up. So like I'll, I usually have a plan of I'll typically post twice a week, but if something exciting happens where, um, you know, I don't know, I get invited to some type of event like a brunch or a foodie event and they ask me to cover it and they're like, great, can, can you do it like this week? There's one more assignment for myself to do during the week. Um, when I first started, I was posting four blog posts a week, which is a lot, but I think that's important to gain momentum and get people kind of noticing your mm -hmm. work. And then as you grow, two times a week is good. It's good for SEO and also to uh, keep you sane because it's a lot of work, yeah. you know, creating content, especially full on blog posts. Yeah. And that's, that's good to know though, because in some things you have to keep going and going. And I think that's a really good tip to, you know, start out doing more than one day a week, but once you get a good following, you know, it's just as valuable to just do it two times a week and in the balance of your life. You, exactly. know, you can't let it, with the social media world there is today, you can't have it, you know, take over. Oh gosh, no, <laughs> you'd go it, insane. And something <laughs> as I was going through your blog, I was thinking, you know, you make these amazing produced videos. And one of the things I want to talk about is people don't realize, like they'll sit there 
and they'll be like, I want to have a show. I want to do mm -hmm. this. But, mm -hmm. you know, they'll, they'll apply for a job or be like, I don't have the experience. Why aren't I doing it? But, you know, you're a great example of someone who just does it yourself. So how did you just decide to just do it yourself? And then how do you, you know, produce those shows? So when I first started, I was filming the brunches myself with my iPhone. And it was good for a while, you know, when you start out um, and you have like a low budget. So then probably like... I don't know, maybe like eight months in, I started working with a video producer who I found and love and still work with him to this day. Um, but I kind of just hit the ground running with it. And, you know, they always say like, just create content, just create it. And I was like, I gotta try to get this out there because I know that people can relate to it and they're interested in it, especially my age group, like 25 to 35, you know, everyone goes to brunch, mm -hmm. especially here in New York. So, um, I just hit the ground running and over time your videos change or your content changes based on your brand changing and everything like that. So it's definitely not the same as it was, but I will say this, these videos are so expensive. So like you said, you know, people are watching and they're like, I want to do that. I want to do this or, or even making judgments about the videos. Oh, well she just goes around and like, you know, goes yeah. to brunch or whatever, but, and that's fine which is not true, I don't always go to brunch. <laughs> <laughs> but I create these videos for my audience so they can get a better sense of you know, going to a specific brunch experience. But that being said, there's a lot that goes on behind these videos. It's the production, it's I'm creating a script, um, I'm working with the restaurant and maybe the PR firm to, to coordinate everything and make sure it's all good. And it's a whole entire production and it's 100% worth the money because the quality matters for my site and my brand. Um, and the people that I work with are so talented. But like I said, anyone who wants to start, just be prepared that it's gonna be a little expensive. Yeah, so you hire <laughs> a camera crew and an editing crew for yours? For yeah, videos. well, I have one guy, one video producer, mm -hmm. and then I have one photographer. So we luckily can get everything done, just the three of us. Um, so they focus on like the camera work and things like that. And then I focus on script, I focus on the writing and you know, making sure that I'm nailing every single point of the restaurant, what's important to me in, a, in the ideal brunch experience, and just translating that in a blog post and in my video so I can share with my And then following. for people watching who might want to start a show or a blog, I mean, where do you find these camera people? You know, how do you find someone who actually does a good job that you're going to like? So I got really lucky because the guy that I work with for now almost three years, I found him on Craigslist. That's crazy. Yeah. You don't know who you're finding on Craigslist. You never know. So um, I had like posted for one of my, maybe like my third brunch review. It was at Chaconi's in West Hollywood. And I was like, okay, like I need someone. This is the kind of video that I like. He sent me his stuff. And then he did it for me. And I was like, this is exactly what I want. And the quality is amazing. And um, that's all part of my brand is to stay consistent with that too. So that's a obviously a big part yeah, of Yeah, when you look at is. your stuff, it's just so put together. But what's also good for people to know is, you know, it's taking you a couple years to get there. I mean, you just started originally yeah. on your iPhone. You know, you don't have to be perfect. Right, right. And it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. I mean, right now, I feel like I'm in the toddler stages of my blog and my business. I'm not in the baby stage. I'm not in the, you know, five to eight year stage where I'm like super um, developed, but I know what direction I'm going in and I know where I want to go, but I have to put in the work to get there. Yeah. And that's important. And I, I think another important thing is, you know, you might feel like you're in the toddler stages, but I mean, if you go look at her stuff, you know, you were, you were in a video with, it was Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. 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 I mean, she was with Gordon Ramsay <laughs> and that's her in her mind in the toddler stage. So <laughs> when you're, you know, just starting out, yeah. you know, people still will take you seriously if you work hard and put it together. Right. If you put in the work, um, if you're lucky and you put in put in that work, put the right steps in, yeah, you can definitely um, get noticed and get opportunities. It matters, I think, the most about is um, the quality of the work and then how relatable you are and how relatable the content is. Because obviously people can't relate to what you're saying or, or talking about. It probably won't be as successful as you would hope. Yeah, so being authentic to yourself and yeah. your personality is probably the number one thing. Yeah. <laughs> so we were talking about earlier, you know, having doors slammed in your face and, you know, we're seeing the OTU, maybe you're in the taller stages, but anyone who will look at your blog is like, this is amazing. She has this quality. She's with Gordon Ramsay. She's on all these TV shows. Yeah. So can you tell us some stories of, you know, when you wanted something and maybe you got your door slammed in the face and you felt like, you know, this is the end? Oh, gosh. Um, 
I mean, I don't even know if I could pick out a particular time because it's been closed in my face so many times. Um, even when things are kind of like going strong and I'm like, okay, this is actually going to work out this time. Um, sometimes it just doesn't work. And it's because maybe the person that you're working with or the company or network that you're working with doesn't have a budget for it at the moment or um, you know something fell through on their end or timing or another project came up or it you know it it doesn't matter whatever the you know the problem was but it's happened to me many times so um, the important thing I know it's so cliche but like you have to keep chugging through because the people who are going to make it in the end are the ones that you know withstood through these really hard times and although my site is like very positive and I want to keep it a very positive, fun entertainment space, that's not saying that I haven't had hard days and I haven't been upset over something that fell through. My life isn't perfect. Um, and I have said that many times, like on my Instagram and things like that, like my brand is very curated, but that's what branding is. But that doesn't mean that, you know, things don't work out for me because they don't, not all the time. Yeah, I think that's so true because I think people don't realize, and that's probably part of the reason why doing it yourself is so important because so many yeah. people will say, you know, I, I know how you like doing hosting as well. Yeah. And, oh, you know, I know what the hosting world is like. Oh, yeah. A lot of people <laughs> will say, oh, it's so competitive. Or they have all these reasons of why you can't do something. Right. And, you know, if you listen to that, you're not going to do it. You know, you right. have to, you know, do your own show, have your own blog, 100%. you know, have your own thing and fight through all of those now. Right. Yeah. And of course, I, I've been told so many times, like, well, you know, maybe you should just, you know, forget it. Like you're putting so much energy into this, so much time and money. And I'm like, but you have to think, what would my life be like if I just decided to, to drop this whole thing? Would I feel complete? Would I feel like something's missing? And yeah, 100 percent. Like, I don't think at this point in my life I would be who I am without the Guild of Bellini. Yeah, exactly. And so is it your full-time job right now? It's We're not my full-time job. Um, it is a full-time job technically because um, I have a, I work in luxury and celebrity event production, um, which takes up a lot of my time. But, you know, every morning and every night I'm doing stuff for the Guild of Bellini. Every weekend I'm doing stuff for the Guild of Bellini. And then, you know, I'm like hosting different things. So kind of my life and my job is 24 seven, which I'm sure you can probably. Build. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. I do. I do event <laughs> stuff, too. It's funny yeah. that we're all so similar. Yeah. But, but that's the point. And I think something cool about that, too, is like, do so your events like ever cross over to the blog, like you meet people and they work together? Yeah, you know, it happens sometimes. Um, a lot of the people that I kind of brush shoulders with, um, it's nice to just kind of know them and be friendly with them because, um, you know, I don't know, at the end of the day, I feel like my brand is really relatable and it's kind of like a common ground. Even when people ask me, um, oh, so like, what do you do? Or tell me about your blog. And it could be anyone from, you know, your average person on the street to someone who might be on a reality show and I'm talking to them and they're like, oh my God, that's so cool. Like, let me look it up. So um, that's also a really good feeling to know that. So yeah, sometimes it does cross over. So you never know, maybe in the near future, there will be a celeb. I'm brunching with, I don't know. Be, we'll yeah, see, that's we'll the see. goal. I mean, yeah. you guys heard it here first. I'm all about like manifesting yeah. your dreams. Yeah. You, if you're thinking about it and you have the plan in your mind, which you seem really like you're that kind of person. Yeah. You know, when that celebrity comes and they're like, oh my God, I love your blog. You would, you would know what to say to have them be on it. Right. I mean, you already yeah. had, we're with Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. You know? Oh gosh, that was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely unexpected, but it was really fun. That's really cool. And I think um, something people don't realize is you know, you can work two jobs and be successful. Yeah. I think so many people say you need to drop everything for a dream and if 100%. you're not, and I feel like that's a really big misconception because yeah. sometimes people like more than one thing, sometimes the two things work together. Yeah. And that, like, you're an amazing example of that. Thank you so much. <laughs> so um, where do you see the blog going and, and what do you want people to know? Where do I see the blog going? It, it changes like every single day for me. Obviously, I think, um, my site itself is really, as I said, relatable and people can kind of go there and read on different things. But the one thing that's most important to me and that I love the most is my brunch videos and going into these restaurants and creating relationships with them and having an episode, essentially having my show. So I don't know what's going to come in the next couple of years, but I would love to really invest in that and make that grow more than what it is now. So. And was there ever a moment, I feel like people don't realize in like the host world and the blog world is sometimes an opportunity comes, literally you wake up that morning and they're like, can you do this tonight? And it's a great opportunity and you go. Right. 
Do you have yes. an example of that happening? Because I think people, you know, don't realize if you, they're like, how'd you get that job? How'd you get that? And you're like, well, someone called me five minutes ago and I like went. Yeah. Oh my. Ugh. There's a bunch of things, but like the Gordon Ramsay thing that was pretty quick too. Um, I interviewed someone who was on um, his other show, um, one of the chefs, and that was pretty last minute too. Um, I one time interviewed Shay Mitchell. That was a really last minute thing. This even was pretty last yeah, minute I guess too. That so um, luckily I'm really grateful that my job, I'm able to just, okay, I'll be back in an hour. Like, you know, do mm -hmm. what I gotta do and then I can, go back to work so but yeah this industry things happen at the drop of a hat so it's really fortunate if you have a flexible job because then you can balance mm -hmm. the two of them so we're about to wrap this up so this will be my last question mm -hmm. um what about this whole experience of blogging like what did it teach you about yourself it taught me that i'm stronger and smarter than i think thought I was before like when I was working in PR in New York I was always I've always been a hard worker my whole life I've always been really ambitious but when I came here and I'm trying to you know do what I love and what I am picturing myself to do in the next couple of years while I'm trying to make money while I'm trying to network while I'm trying to connect with people I don't know my whole life I was so shy I was like oh I don't like to talk in front of people I don't want to you know it's scary to me but being put here and the only way for me to um, introduce my brand to other people is to be like networking and, and just being brave. And uh, again, like we were talking about before, so many doors have been slammed in my face. Doesn't matter you know, how much work I put into something, it could be a no really quick, just when you think it's gonna be mm -hmm. great. So I think it just, um, it roughs you up a little bit, which is a good thing. You can, you can take you know, punches as, as they come and then be more grateful for the good things that happen. So definitely um, also just going off of that, I feel like I've definitely developed more in my creative side and my business side and making these decisions for myself. Um, it puts you like right in the hot yeah, seat. Yeah, with confidence. Yeah, with confidence, so yeah. Yeah, that's true to know. I think that's something so important for everybody to know is how hard it is really to achieve your dreams and you just have to keep going. Yeah. And you get to go to amazing brunches. Exactly. I, I went to your blog. I was like, <laughs> that I, have helps too. <laughs> I have to eat there. Um, so thank you so much for being on the show. Um, tell everybody where they can find you. Thank at. you for having me. So you can find me on Instagram at the Gilded Bellini, G-I-L-D-E-D-B-E-L-L-I-N-I, -L -L like the brunch drink. <laughs> and then also on Facebook at the Gilded Bellini. Yeah, you guys have to follow her and check the blog out. It is amazing. Um, and thank you all so much for watching this. Please subscribe to this video on whatever platform you are watching it on. I have it on everything. Check out my blog, josephless.com. And if you want to binge watch these videos, they will be on Focus TV Network. Check that out. We will see you soon. Thank you so Yay. much for being here. Bye, Thank everyone. You. Bye.